Yes, hey folks. I'm making this video regarding cop and judicial corruption based on this recent Betty Shelby uh, incident where she's forming this support class which takes a certain amount of gall and mentality within the police force to even consider such a thing, never mind way beyond the bounds of inappropriateness. Betty Shelby shot a black man on the side of the road about a year ago. She was charged with manslaughter. She was not convicted for it. Now, was the black man completely in the right? No. He shouldn't have reached in the car, but he was unarmed. Uh, he allegedly had some PCP in the car, but he was basically cooperating. He had both a taser and Betty Shelby's gun set on him at the time. Both were just discharged at the same time. The gun ended up killing him. It should not have happened. Period. He should have been tased, and that should have been the end of it. Non-compliance does not, should not ever result in death. That's not Nazism. That's Nazi Germany. That's what they used to do when you didn't comply. They would shoot you. They would kill you. So her coming up with this class about surviving the aftermath of this, it takes a certain kind of warped mentality to even consider such a thing after an incident such as that. So that's what motivated me to make the video you're about to watch regarding the self-evident and blatant corruption within the police department and the judicial branch of government. Watch the video. Both, I want sovereign citizen types and cops judges to watch the video, attorneys and whatnot. Engage me in the actual content. Debate it with me intelligently. And let's have a conversation about it. And let's create the reform that needs to be created. Thanks for watching. So my previous videos on this subject addressed uh, sovereign citizens and how they never actually lose in court because of judicial immunity and this sort of thing. I wanted to do a follow-up video. I, I would always receive a, get a lot of comments under my videos relating to sovereign citizens. A lot of pointless comments of uh, shill types or just very biased types probably cops in the making or cops themselves and definitely had some responses from attorneys and whatnot and a lot of people just basically boo-hooing it and saying you're a moron type of thing and not debating what i was actually discussing at all so i disabled the like and dislike button because it's too easy for people to just dislike it just because they don't like what they're hearing and with all the comments, what I was finding is if people did engage me in a debate, they would always lose 100% of the time, and then they would delete their comments. Now I'm going to take a different angle here that I'm hoping will open this up even more to help both sides of this equation understand where I am at, and I think it's the most sane position to have. Number one, I am not a sovereign citizen. I never have been, but I've associated with these types of people. A lot of the UCC crap I'm not into, the Admiralty stuff, the Sovereign stuff, I'm just, the vast majority of it is BS to me, and it's compounded by the fact that I'm not religious at all, I can't stand religion, it's brainwashing, therefore I'm not Christian, and a ton of them are Christians, and I'm totally against Christianity, it's a huge load of BS, I feel very strongly about that, so I'm stuck studying with these people that are trying to create a better country and support freedom, but they're often going about it in the wrong ways, not only through all the UCC garbage, etc., that I mentioned, Admiralty and all that, and straw man stuff, but they, they, they couple it with the religion, and that's just so intolerable to me. So, let me take the other side of that and say something on the side of cops to help you understand where I'm at with this. I am pro-freedom, so I am against big government, and but I'm pro-good government. Now, I'm going to show you how, in this video, it's absolutely corrupted. Everything in the system is corrupted, with, with the cops having unlimited discretion, the near-unlimited discretion, and judges having the same and the immunity. It creates a corrupt scenario that cannot be debated at all. It is provable. It is the way the system is. It needs drastically, it needs reform. But on the other side of this, this is what I was getting to, I am basically in support of the way things are with all of the way too excessive laws and the prison industry, profit-generating prison industry that we have because 
people are so effing stupid. We have an overabundance of complete morons in this country. Idiots who do not know how to take responsibility for their actions. Therefore, with, with freedom comes responsibility. If you can't be responsible, you do need a big brother to look after you, and you need lots of laws so that you can be put in jail when you act stupidly the way countless people do. So, I'm not really against the way the system is as it stands, but because I'm a responsible person, and it should never affect me because I never do anything morally wrong in any way at all. Now, the traffic system is nothing more than revenue generation. There, look up John Stossel's report. I can't remember which country it was, but he compared America to another country that doesn't have any traffic laws and compared the stats of injuries and deaths. Well, the other country has less. <laughs> Go figure. It's nothing more than a revenue generating scheme because it's very simple to prove through many, many, multiple ways that the traffic court system is a complete, utter fraud. It's a form of extortion. It's so easy to prove. I could do and to I could do and should do a whole video on it because the list is long, starting with the idea that it's actually a civil proceed should be a civil proceeding. It's a civil problem, but they put you in a criminal proceeding. That in itself is a fraud. It's designed to intimidate and scare people. Come on, of course it is. They want you to be scared into paying money, or you'll be going to jail if you don't pay the money, which has happened to me. I've been to jail many times fighting for my rights, all based on not having paid the government money that they thought I owed them, not relating to taxes, relating specifically to traffic. So, I support traffic rules and law. I support the way it is because of the load of irresponsibility that we have on, uh, in the world today, in our country. I don't drink, therefore I don't drink and drive. I haven't had a drink in over 11 years, I'm never going to drink again because drinking sucks. So. I, I drive like your grandmother's grandfather. Literally, I drive super slow. So, cops, stay the hell out of my life. Stay out of my life. And it's simple enough. I drive safely. Stay away from me. You're not going to take my money because I've done nothing wrong. So, another part of this equation on the other side is, and, and the sovereign types will never answer this. I can never get a straight answer for them from them is if you want to be free and you don't want to have a driver's license and you don't, don't want to do the citizenry thing and take any of the benefits or in, engage in use of the Federal Reserve notes, etc., etc., how do you handle the insurance problem? If you're going to travel on the roads, just pretend that you have a right to travel freely, how do you handle the insurance part of that responsibility? If you get into an accident either hurt yourself or someone else, where's the liability insurance? And no one can ever answer that because, of course, this will tie into the Federal Reserve System, which they're trying not to participate in. So, And I get that. I understand all that. I get it, I, I, and I support all that. But where I'm at with what I do is more just about reading the law as the government wrote it and forcing the government to follow their own laws as they write them. That's what I'm all about. None of that peripheral stuff that I've talked about that's all BS, the Admiralty Strawman crap. Just read the law as it's written, and government, I demand that you follow it. That means you give me due process when I'm in traffic court. You give me real due process. I can prove simply that you do not get due process. For one thing, because judges have complete immunity. They can render any decision that they want. I've already shown how countless judges do not have backgrounds in law. So the judges have all this immunity to do whatever they want, including rendering decisions against people whom they're biased against, therefore whom they have a prejudice against, just as if it was a white judge uh, going against a black person, saying, no, I'm going to find you guilty because I don't like black people. Well, they can do that. Judges can do that. Why? Because they have immunity. Where is the problem with the cops? The cops have discretion. When you're at the side of the road, with them holding their gun at their side, writing you a ticket, they can decide within their discretion not to give you a ticket. Well, people will say, well, I like that. I want them to, be, to have that discretion because I want to be able to get out of the ticket. And, you know, if I'm nice to them, et cetera, et cetera. That's not, how the, that's not the way the law was intended to work, folks. 
If you broke the law, you need to be held accountable for it and held responsible for it. That's the way the law is supposed to work. Now, when you're going on a 35 mile per hour road and you go 36 miles per hour, have you broken the law? You damn well bet you have. You're a lawbreaker instantly. So the cop can exercise his discretion. That cop, if he also happens to be white and you happen to be black and he doesn't like black people, he can decide to ticket you just because he has that discretion. He can exercise prejudice and bias at his whim. That's called corruption. A judge can exercise prejudice and bias at their whim through their immunity. That's called corruption. There is no debating this. There's no way around it. I've debated it with countless people under other of my videos. They always lose. I welcome anyone, an attorney, a judge, a cop, trying to defeat this argument because it can't be defeated. I would welcome you to try to defeat it, knowing now that I basically somewhat support what you do because I do want you going after the loads of irresponsible people in this country, of which unfortunately, unfortunately we have way too many. Just stay away from me. If you do come into my life, then I expect to have full due process rights. But you're not going to give them to me, are you? And that's where the problem is. Thanks for watching.